Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I found out something very interesting yesterday evening. I was talking to the ravens and I found out that they have something like a police force. And the, the police force is roaming groups of ravens, strong flying ravens, very impressive, very august, very wise ravens that when there's an altercation in the neighborhood, they try to fix it. And mostly the ravens all get along with each other, so I'm thinking it might be human-raven altercation or human-human uh, altercation because the ravens don't like discord. They like everyone to get along well together. And so I had an immediate feeling that I had best put my best foot forward with the ravens and try to explain, because they don't know too much about human behavior, try to explain the difference between truth and lies amongst humans. Because the ravens never lie. And they need to be, if they're going to be peacekeeping, they need to be clear about who it is that's telling the truth and who it is that's just pretending this and that, you know, so that they can they can help accomplish their goal of harmony in our neighborhoods. So um, I try to explain. And, you know, if you meet a raven, you can just pretend that they are sentient beings and, and try to explain to them what the feelings of your heart are, you know, because they already know. You know, if you, if you tend to fudge the truth all the time, you might just tell them that. You know, if your t intentions are good towards a community, it will be a very good idea to explain that to the ravens, you know, because they're not real clear on murder and conniving, uh, banditry and robbery and all those things. They, they don't do that stuff at all. It's, in fact, it's so, so out there for them that they would never even consider it. So. If you think there's trouble afoot, you have to explain there's some human beings that aren't quite right, you know, and they're doing, causing some trouble, and you just need help in, in creating peace in the community. That's your goal, okay? Respect all the animals. Respect all the beings on Earth. Try not to kill anybody, because nobody likes that. You know, it's not insignificant to kill an ant. It's significant. It's not insignificant to kill kill a bird or any kind of animal at all. We have to give thanks for what we get when we do that. We have to thank the being for sacrificing its life. I know you know about this, right? Like the Native Americans do. Yeah. It's not just a way for us to release our pent-up rage. We can find some other way to do that, don't you know? It, it reverberates through the natural world when we take a life in anger. It changes everything in our home and right under our feet forever, you know. I'm not saying we should, for those that don't understand. I'm saying we should not. We should never take a life in anger. Only to protect someone that we that we love if we have to, as if we're at the effect of another person's anger. And there's almost always another way, you know? There's the way of diplomacy and negotiation and escape, a lot of different ways, right? Right, right. Songbirds agree. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I'm of the stars and so are each of you.